play Nervous by The Neighborhood. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. There are bar chords, but I'm going to teach you how to play them as beginners. And really all we're going to be doing is sliding a similar shape up and down this fretboard to make this song as easy as possible. So <clears throat> the chords we're going to be working with are an F minor, a G sharp major, an A sharp major, and we have a C minor chord. There's alternate locations to play those chords. For example, a C minor chord could be played down here instead of up here. But I think it's easiest to slide up and down the fret if you are a beginner, kind of holding the same shape as we go. So let's walk through the chords here. If you already know how to play the chords, feel free to skip ahead. For now, we're going to teach those basic chord shapes. So for an F minor, if you are a beginner, you can start with your index finger on the first fret of the low E. That's your topmost string here on the first fret. Ring finger, you can have all the way out here on the third fret of the A string, which is your second string down, one, two strings down, and pinky on the third fret of the D. And if you're a beginner, you just want to play those top three strings. If you're advanced, you can bar that whole fret there, but if you're a beginner, you can just play those top three. So you can slide that exact shape all the way up here to the eighth fret, which is your eighth fret on the index low E string, and then these two fingers on the 10th fret for your C minor. And again, you just want to play those top three strings. For your A sharp major, it's the same shape, but now you can add your middle finger in to the 7th fret of the G string, and you can play those four strings. And the same thing for this G sharp major. So these two middle chords are major chords, and these C minor and the F are minor chords, so you don't want to play that note that gives them the major sound. Okay, and then with all these chords, you can just use your index finger to bar if you'd like to play the full chord. And as always, there are other alternate locations to play those chords, but like I said, we're just trying to make this as easy as possible. So for the progression itself, let's start out here on the C minor. And we're going to pick all three of these strings if you're a beginner. So pick those, hold it, strum, jump down to your A sharp major. So that sounds like this. time and then we're going to do something similar but now we're going to slide all the way down to our F minor strum wait strum slide up to your G sharp major okay so starting over here C minor, C minor, A sharp, F, F, G sharp. It is in the key of C minor, that's why bringing it back to this chord makes the sound sound resolved. Okay, so that's how you do that if you're a beginner. If you're advanced, obviously it's very similar. Just play the full bar chord, so. If you want, you can get a little crazy with the strumming patterns. to it. So that's the progression that's played throughout the entire song. Um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, please continue subscribing to my channel and also check out my songwriting playlist. Thank you for watching.